Image SoftBank SoftBank Group saw its operating income increase by 81% over the year to March 31, 2019, driven by its SoftBank Vision and Delta funds more than tripling their operating income. Overall, the SoftBank conglomerate took in 9.6 trillion yen in sales, an increase of 5%, from which it made 2.35 trillion yen in earnings before interest and taxes, up 81%, and 1.4 trillion yen of net income. Broken down, both of its telcos in the form of Sprint and SoftBank Corporation contributed around 3.7 trillion yen in sales, with Yahoo Japan making 947 billion yen in sales, and others making up the remaining 1.2 trillion yen. For operating income, the SoftBank Vision Fund hit 1.26 trillion yen, SoftBank made 725 billion yen, Sprint contributed 280 billion yen, and Yahoo Japan made 135 billion yen. The SoftBank Vision Fund now holds $97 billion in committed capital, of which one-third is from SoftBank Group and the rest is from third-party investors, while the Delta Fund holds $6 billion in capital of which SoftBank Group has committed $4.4 billion towards. For its fund segment, SoftBank reported 297 billion yen in realized gain from selling investments and 1 trillion yen from increases in investment valuations. Its realized gains were from Walmart's May purchase of Flipkart for $16 billion, of which SoftBank had a 20%, and the selling of Nvidia shares in January. SoftBank said the fair value of its investment in Uber increased by 418 million yen over the year, 203 million yen in Guardant Health, and 154 million yen in Oyo. Image SoftBank As of March 31st, the SoftBank Vision Fund portfolio had parted with $60 billion in investments for a fair value of $72.3 billion. Following the sale of its investment of DD to the SoftBank Vision Fund, the Delta Fund now has no investments. In its presentation to investors, SoftBank said the Vision Fund would specialize in artificial intelligence, invest in unicorns, and synergy creation. Its Japanese telco arm, SoftBank reported sales increasing by 4% and adjusted earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization EBITDA, rising by 1% to 1.2 trillion yen. The telco now has 22 million mobile subscribers across its SoftBank, Y, Mobile, and Line Mobile brands, and 5.9 million fiber subscribers. On December 19, SoftBank Corporation was listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange, which saw SoftBank Group's indirect ownership fall from 99.99% to 66.5%. Its U.S. carrier Sprint, which is currently trying to merge with T-Mobile, saw sales grow by 3.5% and EBITDA jumped 15% to 1.4 trillion yen. Over the course of the year to March 31st, Sprint lost 138,000 mobile customers, with postpaid plans without a phone being the only area to see an increase. Sprint's total subscriber base now sits at 54.5 million, and overall monthly postpaid average revenue per user dropped by $1.15 to $43.25. SoftBank cited deterioration of global business conditions in the semiconductor industry for an 11.5% drop in arms licensing revenue. For the full year, arm sales were steady at 202 billion yen, while sales increased by 11.3% in the fourth quarter. In EBITDA terms, arm declined by 21% to 24.4 billion yen. In U.S. dollar terms, technology licensing brought in $71 million less than a year prior, recording $547 million in sales. Technology royalties brought in $11 million more, recording $1.1 billion in sales, and software and services jumped by $65 million to make $191 million in sales. 
Technology royalty revenues growth rate has slowed down due to a deceleration in semiconductor demand globally including a weakening in global smartphone demand, especially in China, combined with a general slowdown in global chip sales, the company said. Going forwards, royalty revenue growth will continue to be impacted by the slowdown in smartphone demand, but the overall growth of royalty revenue is still expected to increase in the medium to long term as arm gains. Share in other secular growth markets such as networking, automotive, and IoT, during the fiscal year, ARM purchased a pair of Internet of Things companies in the form of Treasure Data and Stream Technologies. The entire conglomerate now holds around 27 trillion yen in equity holdings, and 4.4 trillion yen in net debt. Related coverage lets blog ads. Why?